Hey guys, how's it going? Tiers back again with episode number 3 of the Atletico Madrid career mode here on Xbox One. Now, after plenty of transfer activity yesterday, bringing in Marcel Sousayete in a money plus Raul Garcia deal. Uh, we brought in Anigo Martinez from Real Sociedad. We also brought in Montoya from uh, from Barcelona. And we're looking to bring in another Barcelona player, Ibrahim Afalai, as a winger to, uh, to kind of help with rotation out wide. We might be bringing Koke in from a wide right midfield role into a central role. So uh, we need some... Uh, some replacements or uh, reinforcements in uh, in wide roles. Of course, we've got Christian Rodriguez, we've got Arda Turan, but other than that, we're uh, we're a little bit light on wide players. So hopefully, Afolai can fill that void. And uh, fingers crossed, we can get a decent result against Arsenal as well. In uh, the first friendly yesterday, we were able to get a one-one draw at home against the blue half of Merseyside and uh, today we're playing another Premier League team this time away from home at the Emirates and it's Arsenal we got off to a fantastic start a little bit fortunate that uh, it deflected back to David Villa after the initial effort but very very accomplished finish from a very very accomplished striker gets us off to a fantastic start and we were going to start the second half in similar fashion Koke into Villa decent first shot well saved but again it's a dodgy rebound falls straight back to Koke and we're able to extend our lead just a few minutes into the second half and we were actually going to extend extend our lead yet again. This game was very, very surprising in the fact that Arsenal really weren't as competitive as I had initially expected them to be against uh, against my first team. Uh, they were playing quite a strong side, it has to be said, but Koscielny gives away a free kick there. Not too sure whether he got anything on the ball. Uh, he may have got a tiny, tiny bit of toe to it, but to nonetheless, the referee deemed fit to, uh, to give us a free kick. I'm going to try something from the training ground here. Try and lay it off to David V, who's going to get a lovely strike on it after a decent first touch. They set it up perfectly for that uh, powered finish into the back of the net and uh, just on the hour mark we take a 3-0 lead a really convincing display so far against uh, an Arsenal team that just really weren't on their uh, on their game and David Villa picks up his hat trick a David Villa hat trick in a game against Arsenal away from home I, uh, I honestly just couldn't believe what was happening on the pitch in front of me as I was playing this game. They just were so open at the back and it was nice to be able to uh, to pick a team apart like that with these little one-twos and the, the tiny little intricate passes and playing some counter-attacking football as well, which we tried to do a lot at Chelsea with the pace of the players that we had there. And Villa picks up his fourth. David Villa scores four away from home against Arsenal, and those last few goals came all within uh, with a short within a short space of each other. It was just a second half collapse from Arsenal because the first half was very very tight, and uh, for some reason I don't know why they just fell apart in the second half. Maybe their fitness isn't quite as good as ours at this early stage of the uh, the preseason, but uh, we we're able to come our way with a five 0 victory, which I was very very pleased with. And again, we're getting lots of offers for Adrian, which is something I didn't expect. But I'm batting all of them away. Ten and a half million pounds there from Aston Villa. And uh, Ibrahim Afolay actually declined the the, uh, the initial uh, contract offer because he wanted a more important uh, role within the squad, and uh, he did ex in fact accept the uh, the second offer. So we've now spent pretty much every single penny that is available to us. So uh, unless something happens later on in uh, in the transfer window, we won't be bringing any more players in unless somebody goes out. So we're heading into the the second friendly now, or second friendly of this episode, the third and final friendly of the preseason as a whole. And it was just a few days after the. The Arsenal game and also with those two Barcelona games in the Spanish Super Cup coming up I want to play a full rotation side against Augsburg not only to retain fitness in my first team players but also just to see what the uh, you know the second string players had to offer and I actually played Afolay up top alongside uh, alongside Adrian in this one and it was the two brand new signings Marcel Sousaeta and Ibrahim Afolay that combined to, uh, to get us off to a fantastic start we started the game against Arsenal with an early goal we start the game against Augsburg with an early goal really really pleased that uh, the two new signings were, uh, were showing great signs early on of being decent acquisitions. We got really, really fortunate there. They went up the other end on the half hour and uh, the ball cannons off the inside of the post and Aaron Zubi is able to get back and gleefully clutches it to his chest before uh, before we uh, we try and break free. And then the game kind of petered out a little bit and we were in fact going to try and force the uh, the issue towards the final 10 minutes. Again, as the opposition team tired, it's, uh, it seems to be at the minute that we have quite good solid base fitness within the squad and uh, hopefully over the course of the, uh, the season that will actually improve as the players grow as uh, with you know with their potential and grow into uh, into strong and more physical players hopefully that can uh, that can be the the difference between us and uh, and the opposition in uh, in la liga because of course atletico madrid stereotypically in real life do uh, do with you know not really much of a technical term but they do run around a lot they do put a lot of effort in when uh, when they play for diego simeone and if i can try and get that same sort of work ethic out of uh, out of my team then that will definitely help us compete 
uh, on not only a domestic level in the league and the Copa del Rey, but internationally as well in the Champions League, because it would be nice to uh, to do quite well in the European competition. And that was a superb finish from uh, Emiliano in Sua. No, Thiago even. Thiago scored the third one. Fantastic left-footed shot, even though he's right-footed, and it drifted away from the goalkeeper up towards that right-hand corner. So I was really pleased to uh, to end the game in style. And uh, it kind of leads us well into uh, into tomorrow's episode, which is, of course, going to be the, uh, the two Super Cup games against Barcelona. Massive, massive test to start the season off. And uh, that's hopefully what is going to come in uh, tomorrow's video. Some more very, very good displays. But that's all for today, guys. There will be a, uh, an interactive Road to Division 1 episode coming to you a little bit later on this afternoon. And a really, really important announcement in that one as well. So if you do enjoy that series, be sure to check it out. But uh, that's all for today. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that would be absolutely superb. If you missed yesterday's video, there was a lot of transfer activity going down. There's an annotation on screen over that play button on the left-hand side. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of this new series, then hit subscribe. There's a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the uh, the two emblems on the right hand side and feel free to follow me on twitter as well at chesnoy gaming to have some some more social interaction with uh, with me over there but that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time